they can come apart in some large pieces that I've had a couple guys have forgot. So this is very easy to move from any kind of off-site fabrication setting to the garage itself, so get under that you know, uh, existing garage door header. Um, and then really then a garage conversion project is thought of in two stages. One is we prepare the garage, which of course can be very unpredictable, but the idea would be to uh, you know, get a lateral connection in place, make sure that the walls are okay, get some insulation in there, waterproof the floor, raise it if you want to, but then it kind of is an empty space ready to receive. And then in step two, you just bring this you know, in a few pieces in one day, you do a few you know, connections, uh, you can still do your rough inspection at that stage, and then close up all the remaining walls, but then you've hopefully reduced significantly the amount of active construction time uh, that it would take to have done these things on site. And you hopefully have a really streamlined design that can work in the back right or the back left of just about any two car garage. So then that design becomes something that a lot of contractors know what to do with. They can even tinker and, and modify those uh, kind of design features a bit to different markets. But then on the whole, this would tend to be under $100,000. So, do you want to center the door in between the edge of the window and the end of the shear, which is the end of the as wall? As close as possible to the window, then. And as close as possible to the window. And then we have a 36 inch window. I'm in door? Yeah. 36 inch door. Alright, so this leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hold on. Yeah. Just so in case they ask me right now how many hold downs and how many dowels we have. You have to have all these inspected at the same time. The dowels, the the the, the dowels yeah, yeah, and the, 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 yeah, the hold downs. But yeah. you can't do these hold downs because we have we haven't done the curtain. So then we don't have to wait. Because this has epoxy. Anything with epoxy that's structural needs to be special inspected. But, but, but there's just no way because you have you'd have to do the entire concrete curve before you do these hold downs. Uh, not necessarily because this could be this could be a uh, wet set. Preventing you from going ahead and installing the full beam? No. Okay. 
just just timing on that. Too. Yeah. The joists should be exactly eight feet because I think we had measured that in terms of from places. from here to there. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that's very fast. You just, you just are dropping weights directly on. My name is Bessie um, and this is my mom Yolanda. We've been living in this community of North Farrell uh, for about 10 years. For my mom it was really good um, at that time when we first moved here because she, she was able more to, to go out and take the bus. Now she has some more, more limitations um, yeah, because of her health, because of her health. Yeah. So she doesn't go out. Yeah, that much. Yes. I mean, she doesn't really go out this time. But three years ago, I was the bowling game, mini everything. Yeah, she used to do a lot of like uh, go out and and take the bus, but she like going to the libraries, grocery shopping. But now, yeah. And now for my life, but maybe. Later, exercise and therapy is better for me. Yeah, so now I understand why it's important for this the garage conversion to be the same yeah, floor here. Yeah, she has a lot of health problems right now. Yeah. I see this is where you, you sleep right now, so we've got kind of the living room is the bedroom right now, but it's really. Yeah, she's easy. using yeah, we, yeah, the living room as her bedroom, yeah, bedroom right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's how, that's why you know I started searching for um, in, for information about ADUs uh, years ago because I wanted to build like a, a unit for my mom, and then um, after searching a lot of uh, information, then I, that's how I, I found you. Yeah. Hola, mi nombre es Yolanda Rivera y me siento bien contenta y agradezco pues a todas las personas que hacen posible estos proyectos para que uno pueda estar mejor al arquitecto gracias también por su ayuda y a los muchachos que están trabajando hacen un trabajo muy bonito y me siento feliz Thank you so much. Sí, muy contenta Thank you. I'm so glad to be able to do this yeah.
Es un sueño. <laughs> She's, it's a dream for her, she said. Realidad.